Okay, here's what we're going to do, folks. Today, we're going to play with two things. We're going to play with charcoal. And we're going to play with willow charcoal, which is this really thin, soft kind of charcoal. And then we're going to play with the, char the compressed charcoal, which is really hard and makes really, really dark darts. Um, you're going to need an eraser of some sort. I've got a bunch of them on the front table, the blue table. And uh, if people have used charcoal with it before, you just got to make sure you dust it off. You want to try to have a clean eraser. So wipe it off with a paper towel or just erase on some paper and it should come off. Um, but like I do always, I'm not going to tell you all what to draw. I just want you to practice drawing with it. So just like we did with the pencil where you try to get lights and darks, and just like we did with the ink wash, you want to try to get lights and darks. But with the with the charcoal, um, play with both of these things today. Maybe play today, and then once you once you get a grasp of how it works, try to draw something awesome. Try to think of something you would want to draw. And uh, I'm just going to make some marks here. Let's see. the The vine charcoal is really soft, and. You can color really lightly with it, and it also blends really easy. So like if you kind of come in there with your finger, you can kind of get some cool effects. It blends a lot easier than the compressed charcoal. What I usually like to do is try to lay out a picture. I don't even know what I'm going to I'm going to try to draw a face. I do a lot of faces with charcoal and ink. but. See if I can draw one real quick though. I'm just kind of laying it out with the ink or with the charcoal here. And, uh, and I'm just kind of doing a little line drawing and I'm eventually gonna come back in here and smear it all together to make you see the beauty of charcoal. Sometimes you can, if you don't like something, you can erase it. With the vine charcoal, it's a lot easier to erase. And you gotta make sure your fingers are clean. You start smearing stuff around, you'll make a big smear like, so keep your fingers clean. Well, let's see. I'm just kind of pressing down lightly with this with this charcoal. And if you're looking at, I'm just kind of drawing this out of my head because I know kind of like what faces look like. But if you have a picture that you're looking at, just wherever your picture is dark, make it dark and wherever it's light, leave it light. Try to draw knock out the line, the drawing part of it first. And then you're gonna, once you get the drawing part of it, you're gonna come in here and say, okay, the light's coming from this way. So we're gonna make this side kind of darker. And to make the nose look like it's coming out in 3D, we're gonna darken up the sides of it. I'm gonna do a little around the eyes. Maybe a shadow under the nose, probably a little shadow here. Sometimes people have a little indention between their nose and their chin, or nose and their lip. Let's try to make this person smile. Give them some dimples. Shadowing where their chin's hanging over their neck here. Maybe put some shadow, make it round off the side of her face. I don't, know, I don't know why I keep calling her a girl. It could be a guy too. But, but once I kind of get kind of what I want, let's give her a headband. I 
hope y'all can see this. Let's see. And this is all with the vine charcoal. So I've done all this, all these dark lines with the vine charcoal. Let's see. And what I like to, when I draw, I just draw really chalky and quick like this. And then I come in here with my finger afterwards and kind of try to smooth it out and make it pretty. And like I said, with this, when you get your pencil go or your finger going here, sometimes you gotta change fingers. And it's a push and pull kind of thing. So if I smear it, and it gets too thick somewhere, I can always erase it. Or if it doesn't get dark enough or as dark as I want it, I can erase it or I can add more dark. And when we're talking about adding more dark, I can take the compressed charcoal And see how it's a little bit darker? It doesn't smear as, as easy as the other ones, as the willow charcoal, but the, it, you can get some darker darks. And you don't want to overuse the compressed charcoal because it's, it's like using, like getting with a sharpie and getting too dark. But you can just add just, just a little bit, so little, little tidbits of dark and it'll make everything pop. My eyelashes, eyebrow, a little thin eyebrow. Let me clean up where I smeared it a little bit. It's on the back of my back of my thumb. Uh oh, hit the camera. Readjust. Let's see if we can give this person some hair. Let's give her a hair. Crazy curly hair. But I think you've probably seen enough to get the gist of this. But I just want you to play with the difference between willow, willow and compressed charcoal. Maybe mix them together to paint something or draw something that you would want to draw. Just get practice at it. And then once you get a little bit of practice under your belt, you can jump in and draw something amazing. And I don't want to give it away, but uh we worked with ink yesterday and we worked with charcoal today. I think later in the week we're going to try to mix them all together. <laughs> and uh, I can come in here and just keep working this hair, try to make it look more real. I'm smearing it a little bit. A lot of times when in hair there's highlights. So what I can do is smear that have, so I have some darts, some grays, and I can even come in here and And I put some more curls on top of it with the eraser. So that's a tricky little face I drew there. Hopefully y'all can see that. Probably a lot better than you can see a pencil. But I don't care what you draw. I just want you to draw something awesome. So take just practice with the willow and the chart, the compress, and see how much of a difference or how much crazy of a, how crazy of a picture you can make and try to impress yourself and me and may as always share it on your website 
and be ready to rock tomorrow. Finish it up tomorrow. We'll start something new the next day. And uh, take your time and make them awesome. Uh -oh. All right, signing off. Charcoal drawing 101. Peace out.